So, how long have you been selling beans, Gobe? I'll be one year, 16th of this month. One year only? Yes, please. Get closer to the microphone for me. One year? Yes. And, and already you are trending? Yes, please. I see. No, oh, what, what? I said, I'm doing a 360 for us. We're live on Facebook. Please. Oh, Etonam. 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 Etwa, dear, yeah. Etwa, yeah, my. Etwa, ma. Sepende, sam. Etwa, ma. 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 This is a bean seller or a gobe seller who is um, doing a radio interview. Now, she wasn't made to sit. They were standing during the interview. It was on Facebook Live. They told her to do a 360. There were some boys standing there looking at the etour and all that. Now, those who don't know much about this have started shouting and criticizing TV3. But those of us who know the full details of this, you know, we know that all those who are shouting and criticizing, they are not um, justified. Because whatever they are shouting, saying that TV3 is objectifying the girl, they, they, they know. It doesn't make sense. And I will explain to you. Now, on the 4th of March, just this past 4th March, say Saturday, TV3 or 3 FM, that's TV3's radio station, no? they did their maiden edition of Gobe Festival, which is Beans Festival. And it was nice. Now, during the build-up to the Beans Festival, or the Gobe Festival, they invited this lady, Etonam. She sells beans, or Gobe. Now, when she came for the interview, everybody, they let everybody sit down. But because of the Etonam, they put all the chairs somewhere, and they stood to do the interview. Hey! <laughs> is coming and I'll explain to you why um all those who are shouting they don't have a point. I'm the headless in Chiba the headless reaction. I'll say Anka Okay so a day to the Gobe Festival no? TV3 um or 3 FM interviewed Etonam or Abena. They interviewed her on 3 FM and they shared the video on Twitter. And this was their caption. Gobesela Etonam walks us through the kind of conversation her customers have with her when they come to buy Gobe. And somebody came to quote it and said, Do you know how much of a pervert you have to be to ask someone to do a 360 while interviewing them on radio? And this is the tweet that led to a whole lot of backlash. People came to defend TV3. People came to attack TV3. A lot of people said a lot of things. Somebody also came to say that, LOL, are you aware there's a live video feed also on their social media or just to take one side of things? And even Sister Debbie came to join the whole thing. Now, <laughs> let's read the tweets. I'm okay, forget the tweets now. This lady's name is Etonam. Now, there's a blogger called Kim Bygone. Kim Bygone some time ago started... Um, taking videos of this lady selling the gobe and posting it online. And from all the videos that he has posted, no, nobody has seen how the gobe looks like. Nobody has seen whether she uses normal beans, bambara beans, whether she uses a aboboy beans, whatever beans she uses, they don't know. Nobody has seen whether she uses a um, angwa, whether she uses angwa koko, zomi, kubi angwa, Share butter. They don't know. All we know is a tourist. <laughs> that is all we know. A tourist. And when he posts the videos right now, no, he posted the videos to the extent that now he, there's a promo code. He says if you go and buy the gobe and you use his promo code, can buy one. They will give you discount. Just say this normal bills that she is selling, no. It has become an enterprise, and she's aware they are taking this video. To the point where sometimes she tells them that, oh, say hi to my fans for me. Because she knows the videos have been traveling, and people know her as the gobe seller with the big a tour. Watch these videos. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Oh, my. Oh, my Christmas. 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 Oh, my
And a plus plus day. And a plus plus. Ana, a plus plus. Ana, what can I say? Plus plus. Oh, it. Chale, we blow for some more slow. Go be back, cope. No size. Eh, uh, chalo, we 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 Favorite to go for the whole capital. I see. Yes, as you. So I have to say, we don't move much. We don't move much. Oh, we're all fine. This is what's it? Oh, nice, nice. Me na me na kasi mungu zako boko. Mungu zako boko. Okay, so now from this you can tell clearly that one, she is aware of the kind of videos because if you go to her own a um Instagram page and TikTok page, you will see these videos over there. And guess her handle on Instagram and a uh, TikTok. Abena big things. She knows her things are big. What are you saying? <laughs> I, she knows that her things are big. And they've been posting these kind of videos. And a lot of people, it has gotten so much attention that a lot of people now go to the, the place to go and buy gobe. And it's not because of the gobe. It's because of the F4. Everybody knows, including her. She is using her big etwork to market her beans. She is doing it. Now put that or keep that in mind. Now let's go to a, the interview that happened um, at the 3, a, uh, 3 FM. No. Away back. Oh, what, what? I said, I'm doing a 360 for us. We're live on Facebook. Please. Oh, okay. Etonam. Etonam. Okay. Etonam. If it now see the way when she was turning, Johnny Hughes was like, oh, Etonam, Etonam, Etonam. In his mind, he said, oh, Etonie, Etonie. <laughs> and, and just uh, bear in mind that he said they are on Facebook Live. So the 360 you know, is not for the people listening to the radio. It's for the people watching on Facebook Live. Yeah, and twice. The nutritionist is looking at... <laughs> So, how long have you been selling beans, Gobe? I'll be one year, 16th of this month. One year only? Yes, please. Get closer. This lady has been selling beans for one year, less than one year. She'll be one year, 16th March, 2023. Which means she started selling beans 16th March, 2022. And in just one year, on social media, she has blown up. They are doing Gobe Festival and they've invited her to come for an interview. And do you know the number of people who sell beans in Ghana, in Accra? Some people have been selling beans even before I was born. They've never been called for interview. Do you think they are calling her for the interview because her beans is the sweetest in Ghana? Or because of the Eto videos? <laughs> and why do you think they call her for a interviews? And also, one year old, less than a year. So she also knows what she's doing to be getting this attention and she is using it so how can you oh, yeah, yeah, ask the microphone for me one year yes and and already you are trending yes please see do you do you did you envisage that it would be like this no when you started off what was the thinking what were you thinking mm, just to sell mm. and my profit and move on mm. i didn't uh -huh. expect this Oh, that is coming. Are you surprised? Yes, I'm Sometimes really surprised. Yes. I see. But and look at the boys at the back, like unapologetically looking at their toes. <laughs> unapologetically looking at their toes. They are just staring at it. They don't care if it's on Facebook Live. They are just staring at it, like it's a crystal ball. But then, is, do you have a family history of people selling God in your yes, family? Yes, yes. Who, who? My auntie sells beans. Okay. But because of the old age, she has stopped selling. Right, right. And then... Okay, her auntie sells beans. Old age, so she has stopped. Bear in mind, her, her auntie has not trended before. <laughs> I don't know the size of their tall boom game. Actually, I'm fast, I'm fast. That's why you are selling yes, now. Yes, please. So it's something that you want to go in for the long haul? Yes. Hmm. But you, you don't want to do any other thing, schooling and uh, mm. 
somebody sent a message that you should activate a branch in in Takradi that mm. um, they don't want the enjoyment to happen here alone in Accra. What do you say? Uh, since they've not bring the request, mm. I'll see what to do about it. Mm. Then I'll, if anything, mm. I'll. When the now you see where they changed the camera angle. No? This is the main reason why they stood during the interview. I've seen a lot of interviews on a play FM. They are always sitting down. But because this lady, the etour is what is selling for her. No? They pushed the chair somewhere. They made her stand. And when they switched the camera to this side, there was a banner on the screen. This banner. And it has covered the etour. But they intentionally removed it because what? They know her fans. This is the angle her fans want to see her in. They don't want to see inside the bowl what she's selling. This is the angle. So they remove the banner so that you see the etour clear. I will, if anything, mm. I will. Uh -huh. When the boys come to buy gobe at your place, what kinds of conversations do they have with you? They will be like, who now tone beans? You know? mm. Then I'll be like, Pacho, I. Mm. They'll be like, oh, yeah, sure. Mm. One guy now, sorry, how much you know. Mm -hmm. Now look at somebody at the back there, you know, holding a phone. Taking a video from the angle, the fan's favorite angle. <laughs> ah, from the fan's favorite angle. Taking a video. Yanko. And I'll be like, yes, me and I'm here with you. Be and say, hey, why are you dear fan? Some people do not even come and buy you, mm. but they just want to know who exactly is You want to just you. come and yes. give you a visceral massage? Yes. Ah. Now, Johnny Hughes, to you too, what's visceral massage? You see, some people come there because they've seen her on social media and they've seen the etour on social media. So they are just coming to confirm whether it's true she's the one selling the beans or whether it is just um your friend is saying tricks or whether she's just an influencer who is coming to touch market for her auntie. Okay, I get it. So they want to come and examine your body. Yes. How do you feel about it? Mm, with that one. It has been happening no more, so I take it. Do you me. feel intimidated sometimes? No, no. You don't feel intimidated. No. So there are people come and park their cars, they don't buy their beans, they just come to look at you and go. Those who come with cars, they, they try and buy and some, buy. yes. Because people will see them. Yes. Uh -huh. But those who walk like us, no. Yeah. So those who have their cars, they come and park their cars. Now, listen, oh. this lady sells beans. People drive their cars for wherever pass a lot of bean sellers to come to this lady's place to come and buy beans over there. Do you think it's because her beans is extraordinary? Or it's because of the etour that they see on social media? Her, the blogger is her friend. Now they sat down, they've prepared or planned to use her body to sell the, the product. And they are doing it perfectly well. Now they've gotten a lot of attention to the point where um, your friend is saying, um, to the point where they, they have radio interviews. To the point where they are doing a Gobe festival and she has been invited. Now, when they went to the Gobe festival, no, a lot of Gobe sellers came. Guess whose stand had a lot of people? Etonam, because of what? The Eto. <laughs> So now for those who don't know all these things, who don't know that this lady is deliberately using her stature to market her products, no? they'll be online and shouting that okay.
be um, they are using her, they are objectifying her or whatever. So Sister Debbie came to write that it's not a red carpet or a fashion show. She sells food. What do you need a 360 of her body for? Pervert number two, talking about um, the guy who came to ask that, are you aware um, there's a live feed? Hmm. And she continued that a 360 of a plate of her Gary and beans to market that and go her business more would have made sense. And someone came to reply, how did she get there in the first place? A lot of gobe sellers, how did she get to the interview in the first place? Sister Debbie came to write, then the whole thing is perverted. Poor girl being objectified while hustling, selling gobe. And you see, a lot of people don't know what is going on. And because of that, you know, she's just talking like, you know, this is how a lot of people just talk. Poor girl is what? Poor girl is using her body to sell the gobe and it's working for her. You are online saying that poor girl. Who told you she's a poor girl? She knows what she's doing. Her Instagram handle is Abena Big Things. She has connived with a blogger. They put out videos every day using her assets to sell the product. So what is poor girl about this? Now let me know in the comment section if somebody is doing all these things to sell her products. And she's interviewed. And during the interview, the interviewer wants to see her body. Or wants the fans to see her body just like she has been using to market her product now. Is this something that is, uh, can be termed as, uh, can be, can be termed as objectifying? Let me know in the comment section. Is this something that can be termed as that? That she's a poor girl and the guy or the interviewer is a pervert? Or maybe a TV trade should be dragged? for this or you think it's in the same line because this is what she is doing to sell her product yeah to ask someone also came to write you should go check her tiktok account and um you will see how she's objectifying herself with the sort of videos she's personally uploading appears um she has given her own approval for that someone came to write said everything about this is wrong even for the fact that the interview was done standing okay, all these things we have even dealt with all these things so now let me know in the comment section do you think tv3 or 3 music a 3 fm or johnny hughes was wrong for interviewing her standing up do you think he was wrong for asking her to do a 360 or you think the people who are shouting online they don't know the girl. They don't know what she does. They don't know how she markets her products. And they are just talking in general. Thinking this is just some innocent person hustling to sell her gobe. And people are using her. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Now, the gobe, it was a success. I'm sure they'll do another one next year. And I know this girl will be there again. Look at how she got market. Share your views in the comment section. This is my take and I think it's because of what she does or how she markets herself, how she's selling herself and her products. That's how come the interview went this way. And the people who are shouting online, they don't really know her and they don't know what is going on. So now that you have been equipped with all this information, let me know in the comment section what you think about the interview and about the girl and about how the whole thing went and the social media outcry. Do you think TV3 is innocent? Do you think 3FM is innocent? They are just doing their job. Or you think they are taking advantage of the girl? Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah, pong.